7.2 Arcane Mage Artifact Trait Progression. Like with the Frost Progression video, here's a graphic made by Zoolandia in case you are just too busy to watch a two minute video. Give him some claps in the Maze Discord to show your appreciation. What an absolute champ. So you want more detail? Intensity of the Tyrus God, 10% damage, just get it. Aegwyn's Intensity, more crit chance on Arcane Missiles, our most frequent damaging ability, can't really complain. Alunef's Avarice, 20% mana return, more time in burn trays, that's what I like to see. Time and space, Arcane Explosion while you Arcane Explosion, she. Ethereal Sensitivity, more proc percentage on Arcane Missiles, 4 piece set bonus decreases the remaining cooldown of POM when Missiles is cast. 2 piece set bonus gives POM 10% damage for 15 seconds. More POM, more 10% damage. Bob's your uncle. Aegwin's imperative. One more GCD and arcane power. Two if you're a troll. Popping off, honestly. Blasting rod. More damage on arcane blast. Our number one damage source. Aegwin's wrath. Free crit. What else do you need? Aegwin's fury. Flat damage increase to arcane missiles. Nice one, Blizz. Torrential barrage. More damage on barrage. Enough said. Arcane Purification, more damage on Arcane Explosion, will affect the Replica as well. Good for both Mythic Plus and Raiding. Force Barrier, absorbs more from Prismatic Barrier, still a waste of GCD though. Everywhere at once, not literally everywhere, just a longer window to displace back after blinking. Concordance of the Legion Fall, infinite scaling titwank. I have discussed this trait order with Quivectimus, one of the best Arcane Mages in the world. Here are a few things to note. You may take Arcane Purification before Torrential Barrage with Legendary Helm since you are not dumping stacks as often. Aegwyn's Wrath before Blasting Rod and Arcane Purification before Torrential Barrage if you are also doing a lot of Mythic Plus content. Would you use this order in PvP? Who knows? I don't. Who cares? I don't.